chest day, pump goal, to have the grandma titties. You know what I mean? Like I want the pump to be so crazy that the chest just gets all the way fucking pumped up and it's just like so pumped that it's just like stretched out to where my tits are sagging. You know what I mean? So we're going for that like, that granny titty aesthetic. You know what I mean? That grandma pump, you know what I'm saying? That's the goal. Another deal, for those of you that do care about my compounds, I'll tell you how the bench went. Nothing crazy. Um, I talked about in last week's videos how I needed a deload. So this week I am deloading. Um, moving it back down 20% to what I usually would be working with. Um, and just focusing on technique. You know what I mean? Like doing the things that are gonna help me get past plateaus or just push even heavier shit more comfortable with weight so yeah nothing crazy went up to like 246 for eight and um now we're here building the grandma titties so we decided to be a little bit edgy today Spikes, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I kind of just wanted to feel like a badass, you know what I mean? Kind of feel like cool, you know what I mean? Because it's like lift cool or look cool, lift cool. So I don't know. I, I kind of like, it's got me feeling kind of cool. It kind of like, it just feels so good once you like learn to just take every single lift to like the fucking maximum. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like, it, it just feels good once I know I'm getting to that point where I'm like, yeah, like, if I go into this next rep, it's definitely not coming back up, but I'm just gonna try my absolute hardest and just be able to pit like full maximum effort and just going like straight to failure. You know what I mean? It's just like a fucking, fucking wonderful thing. Was that unnecessary? Yeah. It just brings me to tears, literally how much I fucking love you guys. So I think what I need to start doing is just like practicing the hugging form so that whenever I see you, you know, like if I see someone that's like, hey, like you're like Kev Dog, I can go up to them and like give them the perfect hug, not kind of just like a normal hug where it's kind of just like whatever, like it needs to have emotion, love, um, warmth, you know what I mean, power, you know what I mean? So like. I have had this machine brought in from somewhere else to this gym so that I could practice the hugs. 
So I'm kind of doing this, kind of like stepping away from the normal programming, like what I would usually do to just practice for you guys. Like this is of no benefit to my chest. I'm just kind of doing it because I want to be able to give perfect hugs whenever I see you guys. Oh yeah. As soon as I see one of you motherfuckers, like it's a wrap. Like you need to prepare to just bliss and my warmth and love. I'm trying to find like that pre-lifts hype ritual, you know, something that's gonna like, I don't know, cause me to just like have an increase in strength. You know what I mean? Like I still feel like I haven't found that. So it's just like, I don't know, maybe I can try thinking about like somebody disrespecting uh, my gym homie. You know, like let me give it a try real quick. I mean, it worked. It worked a little too well, though. I felt like way too powerful. I had to kind of like hold back because I thought I was going to rip these fucking things off the machine if I kept pushing the way I was. So I think I'm only going to save that for like PRs and kind of just continue to go through emotions whenever I lift. You know what I mean? It is what it is. It's just like when you have power like that, you got to be responsible with it. You know what I mean? I can't be lifting like that every single set. Otherwise, the gym would be fucking destroyed. A little bit different, I guess. I got like the hug machine. Now I'm like practicing. Um, I'm working on the upper chest. I can't remember for the life of me. Like I have it because I do record like workouts on Snapchat. So I'm sure if I go through my insights, I can find it somewhere. But I don't feel like doing it, so I think I'm just gonna pit it on something random and just assume that put out or heavier than what I did last time. When in doubt, do not pout. Pit on some heavy weight and lift like you're proud. I think Dr. Seuss said that one time. I think that was like definitely heavier than fucking last time. Like, whew, like that was good shit.
as soon as these things like come onto your lap, treat them like they're your kids. You know what I mean? Like you're playing with your kid, having play time, throwing them up, moving them around. You don't want to fucking drop them on their heads. You know what I mean? Unless you want them to end up like a brain dead Planet Fitness ego lifter. You know what I'm saying? So like to avoid that, you want to treat these things with care. Treat them like, like these are my fucking twins, you know? So we're not going to let anything happen to them. You know what I mean? I feel like the pump's coming together like pretty fucking nicely. I feel like I've been making some progress with my shoulders too. Like, I feel like the frames become a little bit wider. I don't know. I'm like really happy with where my physique is at right now. So I'm trying to say, you know? I feel like the closing of the eyes definitely helps. I don't know. Like as soon as I close my eyes, I kind of was able to like ignore the pain somewhat, push myself even more. So I think I'm gonna have to add that in. So what do we got? We got thinking about one of the gym homies getting disrespected to get a sight, but we saved that for like heavy, heavy shit. And then just closing our eyes. And that helps us when we're in the middle of a lift um, to just forget about the pain somewhat. We're gonna try it on this too. See if it really does work like that. Before we actually implement it in every single hypotrophy set. Oh, not yet, not yet. I need to like work on my tongue game and the neck flexibility game before I can reach over and give like the chest some love. One day. So we just finished pumping up the chest. I think pump's valid. I mean, obviously like there's too many people here. I'm a little bit insecure. So I don't want to take off my shirt and just like flex. So like, you guys like a little sneak peek. I mean like. You know, like. I think we got like a little bit of a tricep pump as well. I don't know, I feel good. Good chest day, good life. Good life with Barbella, good things to come in the future, good stuff. <sighs>